the last unit, we were introduced to a very special kind of matrix known as an orthonormal matrix. And an m by n matrix is orthonormal if and only if q Hermitian transpose times q is equal to the identity. Okay, now, inherent, therefore, n is less than or equal to m because the columns of an orthonormal matrix are mutually orthogonal, therefore they are linearly independent, and you can only have at most m linearly independent vectors of size m. Right. Now, the case where m is equal to n turns out to be extremely important. It is so important that those matrices have their own special name. They're known as unitary matrices. And if, the, if a unitary matrix has, is real valued, then often the matrix is called an orthogonal matrix, which of course can lead to a lot of confusion, because you would think, ah, an orthogonal matrix, that just means that its columns are orthogonal. Are orthogonal. No, its columns are orthonormal, it's a square matrix, you could call it a unitary matrix, and therefore you really should just think of it as the special case of a unitary matrix that is real valued. Through a sequence of homeworks, you're going to find out about some of the very special properties of unitary matrices. And in the next unit, we're going to give some examples of such matrices.